For Bob's banger, we're going to need some heavy thread, a long shank hook. For the head, we'll use a foam cylinder with some reflective tape wrapped around it and some flat eyes. The body is just a Staz or a Staz Grande. The tail will be bucktail. And if you want to use some flash, you can use some flash of When Bob attaches his thread, he'll lay down an even thread base. To help him lay down that thread base, he'll hold the tag end up on a 45 degree angle. This will help force all of your thread wraps to be nice and tight and close together. For the tail, Bob will take a clump of bucktail, trim off its end square, and attach it to the hook. He attaches it about two-thirds of the way down the hook shank. You'll also notice that it'll try to keep all of the fibers on top of the hook shank. Bob will add head cement to all of his thread wraps, including the thread wraps along the hook shank. The head cement that Bob applied to the hook shank is not intended to glue the banger head to the hook. It is there to increase the durability of the thread wraps. Banger heads should never be glued to the hook shank. No, it's not. Well, it might be what Grande is today. <laughs> Because everything's getting smaller. Yeah, I, all right, I go with it. One of the things that makes the banger such a great fly is that the heads are all interchangeable. You can change colors by just swapping out heads. Or if you want to take an older fly and seen its better days and make a popper out of it, just slide a banger head on. When you got a lot of rats, you're always going in there and you're trying to get in between the bobbin all the time. That's what he did. Take the bobbin off. Bob will now attach a Staz Grande right in front of his bucktail. He'll then palmer it forward four or five times to create the mid section of the fly. At this point, the tying is pretty much done. He'll tie off his thread and start the construction of the banger head. Now, I don't know what guys feeling about whip finishing, but if you only learn to whip finish with a tool, you're, you're missing out on a very important fishing tool, which is your hands. To determine the diameter of the foam, just use your hook gap as a rough gauge. They should be just about the same. The length of your foam cylinder is anywhere from half to three quarters of the length of your hook. All I make is the heads. Yep. I could put a banger head, head in any one of these and I got it. I got it. To make the center hole in the banger head, Bob heats up a box in his lighter and then punches it right through the center of the banger head. The hot bodkin will help seal the inside of the foam and also make the hole just a little bit larger. You want the hole large enough so that it will slide over the hook eye and down the shank and fit snugly. Just remember, we're not gluing the heads on. Oh, you can get all kinds. Big sizes. Right. And smaller, too. 
but you can't beat it. You can get you can get 20 bluefish on that. So it's very strong. I don't glue them. You don't glue them, right? Thumb deal. Just kill them. Yeah. Well, there you have it, a Bob's banger. Thanks, Bob, for another great fly.